If you've ever played games like Call of Duty or Overwatch, then you've definitely played a lot of hackers. You may even be the person who's hacking. The point of this video isn't to judge how you or other players enjoy playing the games. It's about the most infamous cheat company behind these games. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press that subscribe button to join the trap house with the biggest trapper. And let's get into the story of how this cheat company lost $78 million. <laughs> So normally when you hear about a big police raid, it normally relates to something involving a gang or drug related activity. But in this instance, it involves gaming. In 2021, the world's biggest gaming organization was raided by the police. This raid led to the arrest of 10 people and the seizure of $77 million worth of assets. But how and why did any of this even happen? Well, let me answer those questions for you. A Chinese cheat company known by the name Cheat Ninja, which was previously known as Sharpshooter, was selling cheats for games like PUBG, PUBG Mobile, Overwatch, COD, and Call of Duty Mobile. And in China, the development and selling of cheats like this is considered a hacking crime. These cheats were sold for about $10 a day or up to $200 per month. So when you put into perspective how many people was actually like cheating in these games and hacking, you might even be a hacker yourself. It's not rocket science to realize that this company was making a lot of money selling these cheats. And when it gets to a point where you're not only ruining the game for the other players, but you're also making as much money as the developers of the game, you should know that they're going to try everything possible to stop you. So in March 2020, Tencent Games, which is the company that has ownerships in games like Ka Mobile, PUBG Mobile, and numerous other popular games, reached out to the Chinese police to start the investigation. The police referred to this case as Operation Drumstick. At first, I was confused on why I was actually named this. I thought it had something to do with an actual chicken leg. Then after doing some research, I realized that that was just my inner fat kid because in reality, the operation was named Chicken Drumstick because of the original logo that the cheat company used. The original logo was in reference to the winner winner chicken dinner slogan that you would get at the end of a PUBG game if you won. So after almost a year of running this operation, between the dates January 12th and January 20th of 2021, the police began raiding the entire company. Eight of the 10 people who got arrested were said to be only resellers of the cheats, not the actual developers, but the other two were the main salesmen for the Cheat Ninja company. These two salesmen were only identified by the names He and Wang. And according to the police, Wang owned over $3 million in cars, which included a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. And they also discovered that Wang had a stash of $4 million worth of Bitcoin. So Wang definitely lived a pretty flashy lifestyle and all of this just ended up making him an easy target because his actual day job only paid him about $462 per month. Imagine driving around in a foreign car, Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever, having $4 million in Bitcoin and your job is only paying you $400 per month and thinking that you're just not going to get caught. But even though the police managed to seize all the money, assets, and make key arrests in the operation, they still have not been able to catch the mastermind behind all of this, who's only known by the name of Catfish. Later in that same year of 2021, Catfish did do an interview with the company Vice. And this interview does have tons of information and detail about this entire thing, but I'm pretty sure you don't have the time to listen to it and I don't have the time to go into all the details. So I'll briefly summarize the entire interview and article. So Catfish discovered the raid because of a suspicious text message that he got from one of his main salesmen. The salesman sent a message that morning saying that he had to take a sudden trip to Shanghai. This must have been some type of code word or something that they had amongst each other because after receiving this message, Catfish wiped every server and hard drive that he had. And after doing this, Catfish said that he took a hammer and began destroying every disk and chip that was in sight that may have contained some type of cheat related information. So after destroying and wiping everything, Catfish said that he got in his car, drove a few miles away, and dropped off all of the destroyed software at an unknown location. Now, I personally don't know why he would say all of this in the interview, because like, why would you even give away that much information? That alone is enough for them to like go searching for it and you know, 
maybe managed to arrest you. But obviously he knew what he was doing because in the interview he stated that since all of this happened, he completely shut down Cheat Ninja and the only form of Cheat Ninja still running is that copycats and resellers still trying to sell the software to players and that he's completely laying low now. He ended this interview by saying that he wants to change his name and do the whole thing all over again just to get back at Tencent Games and the police for putting people in jail. But he must have had a sudden change of heart because he quickly changed his mind. Catfish said that he was done with the pay and cheat scene because he no longer needed the money and he didn't want the extra stress of avoiding the cops and fighting competitors. The Vice interview, as I said, had loads of information and detail that I simply just don't have the time to break down and that you don't have the time to listen to. But if you're interested in reading this entire article and learning about the whole thing in detail yourself, I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback to me. Comment below any other crazy stories that relates to Call of Duty in some way and I'll be happy to do my research and get a video out for you guys. Don't forget to press that sub button to join the trap house with the biggest trapper. Always I appreciate the love and support and I'll catch y'all boys in the next banger man.